Hi, I'm Dots. Welcome to I Love the Library. Imagination is a big key to reading enjoyment. Characters and places come to life in your mind as you read or listen to stories. Imagination is an asset to be cultivated. So here is an imaginative tale let me share. The Incredible, Miss Smith's Incredible Storybook by Michael Garland. It was the first day of school. Zach was waiting for his teacher to arrive. Boring, boring, he thought. Why would this year be any different from the last one? Then the door swung open. Good morning, class. My name is Miss Smith, and I am your new teacher. Miss Smith seemed very um, different from Zach's other teachers, but the day went along just like every other school day Zach could remember until Miss Smith said, it's story time. When she sat at her desk and started to read from the book she had brought with her, Zach couldn't believe his eyes. The storybook characters came to life and the classroom was swept up into a swashbuckling pirate tale. The rest of the class were and Zach were right in the middle of the story. He could feel the breeze in his hair and hear the waves pounding against the side of the ship. From then on, Zach couldn't wait to go to school. Every day there was a new story to look forward to. When Miss Smith finished reading, all the characters and adventures whooshed back into the, her book. On Friday, Principal Rotten stood in front of the class instead of Miss Smith. Miss Smith is stuck in traffic, so she asked me to read to you until she arrives, he announced. Zach wondered what would happen next. Principal Written Rotten started to read. Zach grinned when a princess leaped out of the book, followed closely by a fire-breathing dragon and a brave knight on his horse. Principal Written Rotten was so surprised that all he could do was scream and throw the book up in fright. I'm going for help, he called over his shoulder as he ran out the door. But, but before Zach could think of anything to do, Sue Ann pounced on the storybook. She didn't finish the dragon story. She started reading another story instead. The princess, the dragon, and the knight did not return to the book. But instead, the three bears and Goldilocks climbed out. Soon Billy had the book, and he started reading from a new story. Zach shook his head in amazement when the Mad Hatter, Cheshire Cat, and Alice popped up to join the others. As the book passed from kid to kid, and char one character after another flew out of the pages, the classroom was getting very crowded. This is trouble, Zach said to himself. The chaos was beginning to spill out into the halls. Why don't you finish the stories, Zach pleaded, but no one was listening. Miss Smith brought her car to a screeching stop in front of the school. Uh-oh, there seems to be a little problem, she said to herself as she raced inside. Meanwhile, Zach was shouting, we have to finish the stories so the characters will go back into the book. But the storybook characters did not want to go back. Miss Smith appeared at the doorway with one look. She let everyone know she meant business. Even the dragon was silent. Zach handed the book to Miss Smith. She ruffled through the pages, adjusted her glasses, and started to read. The class sat spellbound as she finished story after story. With a swirl and a whoosh, one character after another disappeared into the book until the classroom was quiet again. Principal Written Rotten and a team of firefighters skidded to a halt at the door just as Miss Smith closed the book. May I help you, Principal Written Rotten? She asked, but the principal couldn't answer. He just stared at the quiet class with his mouth wide open. Miss Smith flashed a smile. Zach smiled right back. Who would ever have guessed reading could be so much fun? We have lots of books at the library to exercise your imagination. Come check some out. Thanks for tuning in.